Okay, so we're here at Pevensey Castle, so we're going to do a short EVP session to see what we can hear. As we were walking past earlier, we, I heard and Lou heard what sounded like a muffled voice, so we're going to see if we can get anything further from that. Is anybody here with us? Can you tell me your name, please? Can you tell me what year it is, please? So as Mel was doing that, sort of felt like a force sort of push a little bit um, I'm not sure if it's because I'm standing slightly on a hill or um, if there's a bit more energy around us after asking the questions Is there a spirit of a little boy here who would like to talk to us? If there is, can you make a noise? So you've asked if there's a little... Is there anyone else here with you? Is there anyone else here with you? Do you know where you are? or something touch my hand. <laughs> Do you know where you are? Do you play with the little dog that comes down here? What? So it's just hit my back. So just before that hit my back, I picked up on an energy that was just to the right of the camera, which is here. It seemed to be a darker shadow that was here. But just before that, then that's when something hit my back. But obviously we then turned the camera off. It also looks to be like a shadow there. Turn the camera around very slowly. There looks to be a shadow up the end there, down that path. I don't know if you can pick that up there, can you? So you can hear footsteps behind us. Like boots. You definitely hear noises. There. That's behind you. That sounds like it's coming from behind you. It's behind you. Lou, that's behind I'm you. In town. So we're in the main graveyard the of church. the church. So we're hearing noises behind us, behind me and Nikki. 
and noises behind blue. Can you walk towards us, please? We come with the greatest respect. We just speak validation that you're here with us. Um, can someone come behind me? Has someone got their torch on over there? Because it's almost like something looks like it's just going across the screen. And I don't know if that's like a torch again going across, but it's almost like something's by the tree. There's anyone here? Make a noise. Can you copy me? Are you the lady that's seen down here? The lady in white? Did you used to live here? No. What did you hear? Like a... Rustling? Yeah. Oh, I thought that was you. No. All of a sudden I feel really tingly. Well, that's awesome. It's quite loud as well. Yeah, it was loud. I, that's why I thought it was you. Was that you? Yeah, again. I can, yeah, I can hear it. It's a very loud, very, very loud rustling noise. Yeah, really. Well, and it yeah. can't be any like tree or anything. So we're not actually. I've got the torch on there. It's not actually anything. Here. Here. And like it's not. I've literally stood still. Yeah. And actually, I could see your hands, but it sounded like something rubbed down your clothing. Yeah. But like kind of like in a swishy. Swishy noise. Yeah. Yeah. Is it's there? Huh? You feel like the energy's there? I did, and then I feel like it's suddenly sort of... Gone. Gone. So we're standing at the entrance to the castle where we've just heard this swish. Can you hear that? I don't know what it is. No, I don't know what that is. That sounded like bells again. The bell again, yeah. Yeah. Was that a lady that went past earlier? Can you come back and show us a sign that you're here? The haunted history of Pevensey Castle at East Sussex. So Pevensey Castle is reportedly haunted by several apparitions and other strange happenings. Mm. So there is an account of 12 campers witnessing the apparition of a white lady floating over the fields and passing through a fence heading towards the castle. She has been seen in other places by different people as well. So a phantom army has also been heard but not seen outside the castle walls. Which, this, which era this comes from is anyone's guess. So a man walking his dog nearby reported seeing this apparition of a man in black three days in a row. So one of the most witnessed sights here is that of a grey lady walking inside the castle. There is also said to be a Roman centurion who still keeps guard marching across the castle battlements. Also here is that of a drummer boy still beating out the alarms from the attack from the Saxons. It's become a game over the years for local children to dare each other to run through the castle grounds at night and witness the coasts of these drummer mm. boys. So we've also been to the church, haven't we? We have. So, St Mary's Church. This church is approximately as old as the castle built by the conquerors. When the smugglers operated within these areas, they would have checked that the customer officers were out of sight within the church during prayer time. In order to do this, they would bang on the doors and many of the vicars since have reported violent hammering on the doors around midnight. The graveyard of this church also boasts its own ghosts. He reportedly only appears in the afternoons and walks between the church door and the gate. Described as a dapper little gentleman, he appears dressed in a grey jacket, grey trousers and carries a walking stick. Orbs have also been reported in the graveyard of St Mary's Church.
We were first, we went back to the bit where we heard um, the voices. Yep. And we did some um, EVP in, in the trees. Mm -hmm. Some and how did you feel out? there? Yeah. Yeah. So I felt pulled, and I did mention it in the in the video. But I, I was saying to Mel, it's one of those ones of I don't know if it was the energy or if it's on a hill. But I definitely felt a bit wobbly on my feet. Yeah. And hopefully we might have got something on EVP there. Yeah. So then we moved along to where the little boy is supposed to be. It's kind of like a little bridgey, but not really, isn't it? Yeah. Because we sat down. Yeah. We did a bit more calling out there, um, and there was definitely some energy there as well. Um, so hopefully we might have caught something there as well. Then we moved to the graveyard, took a few nice shots there yeah. with some graves, didn't we? Mm -hmm. um, and then we moved... We bumped into Lou and Nicky and, and went into the churchyard where we've heard footsteps and definitely some energy there under the tree and the change in temperature. And the whistling and my ears got really hot and I thought, I don't know if it could be caught on the camera, but it kind of looked like there was a bit of a mist going across. Yeah. Um, and it being really icy cold around the tree yeah. and our ankles and that. And then we moved on to the castle where we were on the bridge and I had like a, like a swish noise. Um, almost like, you know, when you like rub your legs together, but it kind of like was Definitely. quite loud yeah. and quite... So hopefully we caught that. Definitely. Yeah. So, Overall, good, good night. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Thanks, Kim. Kick us. We need to win. <laughs>